electrogravimetry. In this lecture, we will study the basic introduction of electrogravimetry and instrumentation. Electrogravimetry, this technique is similar to the classical gravimetric methods in which the mass of the sample or the mass of the anode is used for analytical information. So here the electrogravimetry mean the electricity will be passed through a solution and after the electrolysis the solution ion will be reduced and deposited on the surface of electrode. So electrogravimetry is an electroanalytical technique in which the passage of electric current causes the deposition of metal upon an already weighted inert electrode. After the deposition the electrode is again weighted to find out the metal deposited. So here the two terms M final and M initial are given. M initial is the mass of electrode before deposition or before electrolysis. M final is the mass of electrode after deposition. So in order to find the amount of substance deposited or the amount of metal deposited on the electrode so it will be equal to m final that is the electrode weight after deposition minus m initial that is the weight of electrode before deposition so it will give us the mass of substance deposited on the surface of electrode Electrogravimetry is governed by the three principles that is Ohm law, Faraday first law and Faraday second law of electrolysis. Ohm law, it expresses the relationship between three fundamental quantities that is current, voltage, atomotive force and resistance. So according to this law, the current I is directly proportional to the electromotive force E and inversely proportional to the resistance R that has formula I is equal to E over R. Faraday first law, the amount of different substances deposited or liberated at the electrode of a cell is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity passed through the solution. Mathematically, it is expressed as that is weight of sample deposited is proportional to quantity of electricity or charge passed through the uh, solution. Here replace the sign of proportionality with some constant. So W is equal to ZQ where W is the weight of the substance deposited at the electrode of a cell. Z is the const constant of proportionality called the electrochemical equivalence of a substance and Q is the electricity passed. Faraday's second law the amount of different substances which are deposited or liberated by the passage of the quantity of electricity are proportional to the chemical equivalence. Thus it follows from the second law of Faraday the M1 and M2 these are the two solution and the quantity of electricity Q is passed through it then the M1 and M2 deposit at the surface of the electrode will be equal to their chemical equivalence. So weight of M1 deposited divided by weight of M2 deposited it is equal to chemical equivalent of M1 divided by chemical equivalent of M2. Chemical equivalent is equal to the molecular weight or atomic weight divided by the number of electron loss or gain. Electrogravimetric calculation. Let the weight of the sample containing the anode is Ws gram. Ws gram is the weight of sample and the anode will be taken as M positive. This M positive will gain the electron and will be deposited on the surface of electrode that is generally a platinum gas. So the reaction is M positive that is from solution that is metal ion it will gain the electron and it will become Ms that is metal in solid form. Here it this reaction will take place on the cathode so the reaction will be reduction process. The, let the weight of the properly clean and dry uh, cathode be W1 gram. W1 gram is the weight of cathode before electrolysis. 
after electrolysis the weight of cathode will be w2 gram so wt that is the amount of metal deposited on the cathode it will be w2 minus w1 gram so w2 minus w1 gram of the metal will be present in sample ws so ws gram of the sample contain w2 minus w1 gram of analyte and we will convert this term into percentage also so the percentage of the analyte present in the sample that is equal to w2 minus w1 that is the amount of metal deposited divided by ws that is the amount of uh, analyte in the sample multiply by 100 so it will give us the amount of analyte in the form of percentage time current requirements for electro deposition the number of gram deposit can be calculated from gram deposit is equal to it divided by 9600 formula weight divided by n where i is current in ampere t is time in second fw is formula weight n is the number of electron transfer per species 96500 that is faraday constant and th this value is the constant value for faraday constant this formula is derived from the ohm law faraday first law and faraday second law according to that the number of substance deposited it is equal to the quantity of electricity pass and the number of substance deposited it will be equal to the chemical equivalence chemical equivalent has formula that is formula weight or molecular weight divided by n so 96500 coulomb of electricity are required to reduce 1 gram equivalent weight of a metal to lower oxidation state that is 96500 coulomb per mole that is equal to 1 faraday if current i flows for a time t then the amount of charge q that has passed any point in the circuit is q is equal to i t and the number of mole of electron that is equal to coulomb divided by coulomb per mole so coulomb has formula that is charge that has formula i t coulomb per mole that is equal to f that is faraday constant if a species require an electron for per mole in its redox half reaction the moles of that species that have reacted in time t so mole of species reacted is equal to i t divided by n f this formula is same as the previous one here one mole of electrons are used and here the n number of electrons are used instrumentation the apparatus required for analytical deposition consists of suitable cell and direct current supply now first part is the cell we know that the metal will be deposited on the solid electrode generally tall form of beakers are used and mechanical stirring of this beaker is done to minimize the concentration polarization second part is electrode that is generally made from the platinum electrodes and gas cylinders are used for making cathode these cylinders are 2 to 3 cm in diameter and 6 cm in length now what is the advantage of this gas cylinder the use of gas cylinder minimize the polarization effect by increasing surface area to which solution can freely circulate a gas cylinder is also used for making anode but the size of the anode should be small so that it can be easily fitted inside the cathode anode is made to rotate with an electrical motor and in some cell a node may take the form of heavy wire spiral and solid pedal third part is electrical connections a voltage applied to the cell is controlled by the variable resistors a meter and voltmeter indicate approximate current and voltage applied 
and 6 to 12 volt DC direct current is used in the electrode deposition.